Well, good morning. Welcome to King's at Home Daily this morning, this Thursday morning. Welcome from me, Goff, and uh, welcome to my loft. Oh, and um, in case I get a little bit boring later on, um, there's a couple of pictures there if you look at them. Uh, my grandson drew me some pictures to put in my loft, and I thought he might like to see them. Anyway, um, good to see you, and we're going through our studies in the Sermon on the Mount and we're in Matthew and we're in chapter 6 and we're up to some really interesting words this morning that will no doubt challenge us so let's pray Father we do want your word to speak to us we want your word to shape our lives we want you to shape our lives so this morning as we spend these few moments in your word please would you speak to us I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're in verse 19, and uh, I'll jump straight in. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and vermin destroy, where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, for where sorry where moth and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also wow these are really challenging words uh, the sermon on the mount there's been a lot of talk to this point on hypocrisy and what what religion isn't it's it's not outward things it's it's not show it's it's to be inward it's to be something that's that's being shaped in inside us and now um jesus is speaking positively he's now speaking to disciples and saying actually um, it's not just that your lives are not shaped by hypocrisy and so on but we want your lives to be positively shaped by kingdom values that the, 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 the right at the heart of your being you're being shaped by kingdom values rather than by by the world's values and i want to just speak about what it what it mean what, what what when the bible speaks about the world what does it mean well it obviously doesn't mean the the physical world the solar system and the earth and so on it's speaking about uh, uh, the, the the culture around us really the outlook on life the the values uh, that 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 um, are held in the culture around us of things that matter most and in our culture of course very materialistic culture wow uh, it, it, it's it's pretty blunt what Jesus is saying here don't store up treasures on earth and there's two reasons why we're being told not to do that firstly because it doesn't last moth vermin rust it, it can be lost and and this is the tragedy isn't it you know people can spend their lives striving striving to have to get and and, and you, you, it can slip through your fingers you can't keep holding it. what a tragedy to spend all your energies in such a way it can be lost now don't so it's, it's there's the first reason it, it can be lost it's gonna rust it, 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 it's going to fall apart um, so it, it, it just logically it doesn't make sense for that to be to be uh, what you're chasing after. So we just just pause there. Are you chasing after? Is your life shaped by what you'd like to achieve, accomplish, own? It's, it, 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 it can be lost in a moment. It can be lost in a moment. Thieves can break in and take it away. But store up for yourself treasures in earth where, where moth and vermin do not destroy, where thieves don't break in. So there's a very logical deal there. But, but then he goes on. This is really, really, really important. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. See, Jesus isn't just, he's not just speaking against wealth and 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 and, and, and uh, possessions um i don't think he, he you know of course uh, it, 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 scripture tells us it's the 
love of money that's the root of all evil not money in itself if god entrusts you with with, with, with wealth wonderful use it for the glory of god and, and be blessed it's more blessed to give than receive so he's not speaking against money he's speaking about a heart attitude he's speaking about that attitude of that so much in the world must have must make myself secure the only the best way to make myself secure is to is to to own to possess and and so on it's it's a grasping after it's it's a it's 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 tragic people live like that i remember jay john some of you've heard the, the evangelist jay john you may have heard him say this uh, uh, I'm, I'm, he, he t tells the uh, the story of two cousins at the wedding of a a, a wealthy uncle uh, having a discussion about, and, and one says to the other well how much how much do you think he left to which the other replied all of it <laughs> and uh, you know it, 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 it's comical but it's true how much does someone leave everything absolutely everything and uh, it, so yeah that the, the first point is the foolishness of building your life on those things but the, the second point Jesus makes is it's not just those things, it's the, it's, it's, it's the treasure aspect. It, it's, it, it's when, it's, it's, it can be anything, anything, it, anything. Uh, it can be money, it, it, it can, it, it, and by the way, even a person who hasn't got any money, they can have such a view of money as a, as a treasure, as something must have, must get, that it, that it can become uh, a snare to them they are becoming obsessed with something because they must have it so it's the treasure aspect and what Jesus is saying here don't let your treasure be something on this earth because firstly it won't last it'll be taken away but secondly it is likely to to rob you it's the it will it would direct your affection your heart away from him to things that really are not worth it and 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 that's the challenge you know uh, it, it, god forbid that we should have little capacity for the lord because our hearts have been drawn somewhere else must have must own must achieve our hearts have been drawn away so that's what is being said here um where your treasure is there will your heart be also i think this is a really what really challenging one for us it's it, it you know but it's, it's by nature we're we're creatures who we want to make a home <laughs> we want to have somewhere that's secure and home but of course for the, the only way we're going to have that is by finding it in the lord jesus knowing that our our home can only fully be with him and so our home should involve our longing to be with him and to know him for eternity and how foolish and small and insignificant the treasures of this world will look in a couple of million years when we're enjoying the presence of the lord and thinking why on earth did i get so obsessed with that crazy stuff that can be gone in a moment. And the, the challenge is for us to keep that, that, that pilgrim characteristic. Um, that, that, that's what we are as Christians. We're not settlers, we're pilgrims. We're not settling and making ourselves comfortable. Yes, of course, every good and perfect gift comes from above and God blesses us. But this isn't where our home is or where our treasure is. Our treasure is with the Lord. So Lord, I pray for us as we go through today. This is a biggie for us. So easy to be, for us to be lured away from you. Give our attentions and our attention and our uh, striving and our, uh, give our affections to things that will pass away. Lord, we thank you for every good and perfect gift that you give us. But we see these things as gifts from you to be used for your glory. And Lord, we say, please help us to keep you as our treasure, our hope, our home, our security. Keep our hearts focused on you 
I pray. Lord, nudge us, show us today where perhaps things have got a bit out of proportion, out of perspective, where, where we need to hear your voice and let go of some things that perhaps we're holding on to uh, too much. So please help us, Lord, I pray. We want to be more like Jesus. In his name we ask it. Amen. Well, have a good day and uh, see you again tomorrow morning. Bye now.